It is the 28th of April 2017. I'm about to go to the doctors and get a check. I'm nine days from stepping on the stage as a fitness model competitor. And yeah, I'm documenting my journey to the world stage, to the world titles as a fitness competitor, but I haven't been feeling too well the last few days. And I just wanna make sure everything's good. Um, been sort of back and forth to the bathroom yesterday a lot. And yeah, I'm just, yeah, I think it, I'll explain all this stuff later because I've got to go, I'm actually almost late. So I have to get there, but uh, I'll get a blood test and everything else and I'll, yeah, give you an update very soon. So yeah. Welcome back, my friends. This is a, another update. It is the 28th of April, 2017. It is Brad again from seekfitlife.tv. And I just come from the doctors. I mentioned before that I was going to the doctors and I, I literally was late. So I had to run. I didn't have time to film anything, but I went to the doctors because I want to make sure that my health is still intact from all this meal prep and from all this contest prep. That's what I mean from all this contest prep that I've been doing. So I am literally nine days out from stepping on the stage for my very next fitness model competition. And... I'm literally documenting this journey to the world titles, which is end of June, but the next competition is like nine days from now. And so I've been feeling tired a lot the last week or so. If you've been watching the videos, you would have realized how tired I've been and I'm just not as energetic as what I usually am. And um, it might, I might be giving people the imp bad impression of what this contest prep is like. I, I'm just giving it to you how it actually is from my from my perspective. So um, it's still fun. Like it's a fun journey and this is all learning and it's all part of the experience. So I went to the doctors, right? And I got a referral to get some blood tests done tomorrow morning. And they're testing me for uh, my organ function. So kidney function, liver function, thyroid function, uh, B12 levels, vitamin D, uh, HDL, LDL, so cholesterol, and uh, B12, I mentioned folate, vitamin D, I mentioned that, uh, serum and testosterone levels and free, uh, free form testosterone levels, fasting glucose levels and fasting glucose levels, okay. And I, was, I had to think about something for a sec. And that's it. I think might be something else. No. So they're testing all of those things in the blood test tomorrow. And then I have the choice of doing the salivary cortisol test as well, which has to be done at midnight. So these are my referral forms right here. And uh, you can see that for yourself, the tests. All right, so look, at the end of the day, health is, you know, for me, it's number one. And I actually mentioned this in my Snapchat uh, stories. If you're not following me on Snapchat stories, get onto it. I actually um, snapshot that through Snapchat and Instagram. And I talked about like health being number one, like the moment I'm like, if any of those are like not right or that kind of thing. And, uh, and like, I'm, I'm, I won't be doing this competition thing, period. You know, it's just not worth it. Like there's no fucking, why, why would I, no, it's not worth it. So I'm actually doing it for my own information. I want to know if I'm still, I mean, I've, st I feel healthy, but I am tired. That's, that's, I've general fatigue levels and it's because I'm in training you know, two to three hours most days. And I get it. I, I It could just be that, but I want to make sure that there's nothing else as well, right? And also, um, I have a lot of people around me saying, Brad, you know, you're unhealthy, you're unhealth. Like seriously, people that are just not doctors or anything or don't even know my body and or don't even know how I feel except what I say. Uh, just saying things like, Brad, you're unhealthy. You need to eat more. You need to eat this piece of chocolate. You need to do this. You need to reduce your protein, all this. And I've been, by the way, getting this for years, not just during contest prep, but I've been getting this kind of stuff for years from everybody around me telling me what I should do. And I always say to these people in the nicest possible way, thank you so much. Look, I appreciate you care for me, but I know what I'm doing, right? But in my head, I'm like, get fucked fuck off, leave me alone. I don't piss you off 
by constantly hounding you that you're having 17 donuts and you should stop eating all those donuts and you should stop eating all that KFC takeaway and you should stop. I don't tell you about how much saturated fat you're eating by having those muffins or by having those biscuits or by having those cookies. But people love to tell you how if you have, if you have one Kit Kat, for example, or one piece of chocolate, people freak out. They go, what are you doing? You're having one piece of chocolate. Wow. Interesting. So if you're actually a competitor watching this, you probably know what I'm talking about. Or even somebody who's not and you've gotten lean and you, you have a relatively healthy lifestyle and the moment you reach for like a Twix or the moment you reach for like a scoop of ice cream, people go, oh my God, you're eating a scoop of ice cream. What's Anyway, so I get it all the time, right? And I was like, I haven't had a fucking scoop of ice cream in like five months and then I have one scoop of ice cream and people are in shock. So I don't get it. I don't get it. So anyway, um, that's my update. I'll give you a further update on the, I mean, look, the test results won't be back until, um, you know, mid next week. So literally probably two or three days out. So that's it. I am going to sign off and I'm going to do a few more videos. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below or reach me directly, brad at seekfitlife.com. And as you know, I'm documenting this journey. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe and like the video. It does help support the channel and spread the word to other people to inspire them, hopefully, in their own journeys to get healthy, fit and strong. Maybe do a contest one day. I don't know. Have you thought about competing? You're probably thinking, no way, man. I'm not doing that. No way. And that's cool. You know, like I didn't want to do this when I first started. I had no interest. I thought people that competed were crazy. And all I cared about was just having biceps and abs. Seriously. And then you get to a point where you get the bicep and biceps and abs, and then you want to try and go for something else. And that's always the case with human beings. There's never ever an end point. There's always, um, you know, yeah. So thanks very much for, <laughs> so I had to cut myself off there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak or see you in another video.